Welcome back. It's been a crazy week. Let's talk about five things that happened in digital marketing this week that you might have missed. First things first, TikTok has expanded its partnership with the NFL. TikTok has just announced a multi-year partnership with the NFL that will have them posting exclusive content onto the app. In 2023, TikTok reported that NFL videos alone generated 5 billion views for the app. A lot of these views were probably generated because the one and only Miss Taylor Swift was attending her boyfriend Travis's games. However, this will be beneficial for all teams across the NFL Swifties or not. It's also worth noting that this deal will boost coverage for sports brands looking to expand their promotions. Next up, the highest court in the EU has held up a $2.7 billion fine against Google. This fine came about because Google was favoring its own price comparison service and search results. Though the case was settled this week, the EU brought it against Google in 2017. Google has been accused of boosting Google shopping while disadvantaging other price comparison services. This is coming around the same time that Yelp has been fighting against Google, so Google either can't can't catch a break or they maybe need to start playing nice. Next up, social media warning labels have just been approved by the US Attorney General. Once it was cigarettes and now it's social media, these warning labels are gonna be placed on different social media platforms warning against its dangers to children. Attorney generals are saying that this is a reaction to the mental health crisis among young people in America. They're pointing to evidence of warning labels on tobacco products and how they can increase awareness and change behavior. Though some are skeptical, it's now up to Congress to decide if this will be an effective strategy. Snapchat is at risk of being banned in New Mexico after a recent lawsuit. Attorney General Torres of New Mexico is claiming that Snapchat has failed to protect its young users. He claims that through Snapchat, children have been exposed to sextortion, sexual exploitation, and harm. Torres also claims that Snapchat creates an environment where children are vulnerable and easily targeted. As a result of this lawsuit, Snapchat could face major penalties or at worst, a ban in the state. Last up today, YouTube has developed a new technology to detect AI deepfakes. This comes as a relief to a lot of people, especially publishers, creators, artists, and public figures in general. This technology will notify publishers or creators when their face or voice is being used in another clip. As we know, deepfake has been a major red flag in this new age of technology, and artists, politicians, and creators alike have all fell victim to AI depicting them in a false manner. This process will expand YouTube's copyright protection tools and will hopefully stop deepfake from spreading too quickly online. That's all I have for y'all today. Check back next week for more updates.